Happy Friday out there, Team 42. A true skipper here at Darius Dell to present our Macro Minute for Friday, March 1st, 2024. As always, we'll start with our executive summary from today's leadoff morning note. If you would like the analysis supporting these conclusions, as well as what to specifically do about them in your portfolio, you need to be a client of 42 Macro. So we'll start with today's key macro event, which is uh, mixed signals for the global manufacturing sector. The nuance there is that the February ISM manufacturing PMI report did not support our prior expectation of a recovery in the domestic manufacturing sector. Fortuitously, the February manufacturing PMI data from around the world generally supported our green shoots globally theme. In terms of market implications, uh, what we did not observe anything in the latest batch of data that represents cause for concern regarding the sustainability of the current Goldilocks market regime. If anything, the generally positive global growth signals are a headwind for the bearish VAMS US dollar, which itself is a key contributor to the positive global liquidity impulse. Refer to our uh, February 27th leadoff morning note for our latest deep dive on global liquidity dynamics. Transitioning to my 42 macro dashboard here, uh, we'll start as always with uh, trading range signals from our friends over at Longbow, getting an overbought uh, signal here in the Russell 2000. Uh, so be aware of that. Um, and then we are getting an oversold signal uh, in the 10 year nominal treasury yield. So it'll be a good spot to uh, be lightening up on, on bonds if you're, if you're trading that tactically. Uh, and then as always, we'll wrap up with a question from our community. Uh, really not a question here, but I thought it was a, a great statement um, uh, for discussion here. So uh, I'm just going to read it out loud. So technical analysis, a risk management tool uh, as a risk or is a risk management tool. Not surprisingly, there's been a lot of chatter on Bitcoin and crypto with the price action. Uh, and I notice uh, an uptick in discussions here that are more uh, technical in nature in terms of technical analysis. One valuable learning I've had in my journey, I'm reading the question by the, from the client, uh, is that technical analysis is a far better risk management tool uh, than a prediction tool. Just wanted to throw that out there uh, for any of my, uh, fe my fellow retail investors in this community. So uh, I definitely uh, generally agree with that that take here. So, you know, to me, uh, what I think we do uh, at a high level uh, is, 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 is macro risk management. You know, I, I, I don't consider myself a macro guru. I don't consider myself a macro investor or a macro hedge fund manager. We, cons we consider ourselves macro risk managers. We use macro market and macroeconomic data to help investors mi maximize upside capture in bull markets and minimize downside capture in bear markets. That's the number one thing. That's the only thing we're really trying to do in terms of our regime oriented process, uh, in terms of predicting the market regime and, and assessing the sustainability and, and, and uh, of, the, of the market regime and, and trying to anticipate what the market regime is likely to transition to and when it's likely to transition. Uh, with respect to uh, technical analysis, so I, I generally agree. I, I think, uh, you know, one of the things that I, I I love and I don't love about technical analysis is, is you tend to get uh, you can see whatever you want to see in a chart. Um, you know, I've seen so many uh, indicators over the course of my, my 15 year career on Global Wall Street. Uh, you know, you can you can make a chart look however you want to make a chart. Just, you know, in terms of um, in terms of uh, you know, bludgeoning the, 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 the analysis uh, with a, uh, with, you know, with, with, you know, specialized, you know, uh, indicators and whatnot. So in my opinion, with respect to technical analysis, I think the best thing you can do as an investor, if you are heavily reliant upon technical analysis in your risk management process uh, is to just be, be consistent. To me, the consistency is the number one thing you, you got to do. If you're constantly switching between indicators and you're constantly, you know, you know, dialing up or dialing back your your, your look back periods and your indicators and and, and changing your, your parameters and your indicators, then you're really not, you know, you, you, you're not really creating signal. You're just creating what you want to see out of the charts. So that's one thing I would say just in terms of my learning. Uh, you know, kind of um, yeah, going through the, the, the ringer in terms of, uh, you know, learning the hard way on a lot of these things, you know, with my own capital. So uh, just, you know, wrap it up there. I think there's a great uh, discussion there. So I'm sure uh, other clients will, will uh, chime in uh, as the good day goes on. So uh, as always, we'll wrap it up there. Uh, Darius Stell presenting our Macro Minute for Friday, March 1st, 2024. Everyone have a wonderful day. Best of luck out there. Have a great weekend and we'll catch you back here uh, next week. Cheers.